details so far? Uh, about 12.30 this afternoon, a, um, we got advised by uh, Fire and Rescue um, Communications that a helicopter had crashed at a location called Wyan Bill, and I'll spell it W H Y A N B W -E L, which is about 10, it's a rural location about 10 nautical miles north of uh, Mossman. Um, uh, police uh, would, were uh, detailed to the scene. We, spent, we sent police from both Mossman and Port Douglas. Uh, both uh, ambulance and fire service also attended. Uh, on arrival, they found a helicopter had indeed crashed with four persons on board. Um, all were injured to varying degrees, but none are life threatening. Um, two of those have been transported to to Cairns Base Hospital via um, air, air, uh, air uh, uh, rescue helicopter, and two by um, by road uh, road ambulance. Uh, the helicopter was uh, a charter owned by GBR Helicopters uh, here in Cairns, chartered by a government department. It was conducting uh, a weed survey at the time, uh, which involved some uh, low level uh, low level flight. Uh, would someone turn up? Like, want to wait? Oh. Hey. Oh, Channel Seven, turn up. Or? They just come in. Right. Don't worry about it. No. Uh, where was it? Um, <clears throat> yeah, the, the helicopter zone by GBR Helicopters, a, a, a local Cairns company, was on charter to a government department conducting weed a weed survey. Uh, as I understand it, that involves quite low level flying, and uh, the, the helicopter crashed in the, in the, in the uh, course of that operation. Do you know, like, what caused it to crash? Did it hit something or? Yeah, we, at this stage the investigation is still in its early stages, but uh, we understand that there are uh, some damaged power lines quite nearby, and uh, so we're, we're uh, investigating the possibility of the aircraft's coming in contact with, with power lines during its uh, low-level flights. And I believe there's quite extensive damage done to the helicopter, is that right? Yeah, I haven't seen it, but the, like, the police on the scene tell me that it's uh, extensively damaged, yes. It landed, it landed upright on its skids, um, and uh, ext but extensively damaged, yes. So do you say that these people are lucky? to have only had minor injuries? I'd reckon so, yeah. And what would you say about the actual oh, injuries? The, the injuries, I'm not saying they're minor. No. Uh, there, are two, there are two with compression injuries, they're spinal injuries, and uh, I'm not sure what, the, what the, the, how the seriousness of those injuries are, uh, but two are less, less serious than that. What can you tell us about the actions of um, the pilot? Do you think that um, obviously his experience led to a more safer landing? Did some stuff, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I have no idea really, honestly. Yeah. So. Was there some problems with fuel from the helicopter once it had crashed? There had been. Uh, my advice is that there was a, 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 a leak of fuel once the, uh, once the helicopter had crashed, and the QFRS were dealing with that on scene. Do you know the height that it fell from on the air? No, that's still subject to the investigation. But um, I wouldn't expect too high because it hit the power lines. <laughs> Uh, what, what to, where to now? What are we going to be doing? Uh, um, the, the, these sorts of incidents are investigated both by the police and by the Air, Air Transport Safety Bureau. Um, the ATSB aren't sending an investigator to the site, so they'll, they'll rely on, on, uh, on our findings. But we'll also rely on their expertise and assistance in investigating the incident. They obviously have, in, they've obviously got uh, expertise in, in uh, investigating uh, air incidents or aircraft incidents, so we'll be relying on that and uh, providing them with our, with our findings in due course. What happens salvage-wise? Does it stay there for a while while investigations are underway, or you can clean once, up? Once we've once we've finished at the scene, uh, we'll release the aircraft back to the owners, which we expect will probably be sometime later this evening or tomorrow. Is there any other factors, uh, weather-wise, that could have caused or contributed? Uh, again, the, the, the investigations are very early stage, but uh, mm -hmm. all, all factors are being investigated at this stage. No, there's none that I can point to at this point. Visibility probably wouldn't have been a factor. I mean, it's not raining or anything. No, I, I don't know any other factors. I can't really point any specifically. In terms of penalties, probably the wrong word, but if there's any follow-up, is that something police would take up with the pilot or the ATSB would...? In terms of, of compliance with the air safety regulations, that's a matter for the ATSB. Yeah. So our, our focus is mostly criminality. Yep. How, how experienced was the pilot? No idea. No idea. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, guys.